In a previous video, I've demonstrated how to create a hypsometric curve in QGIS. There is, however, a faster method using a processing toolbox tool that is available. The result is a little bit different, but uh, it works quite quickly. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use that tool. So we start again with a catchment boundary, polygon, and a digital elevation model. In this case, you don't need to clip it. You can just use the whole DEM because the tool will take care of the clipping. Then in the processing toolbox, look for a hypsometric curve and you'll find it under the rusted terrain analysis tools. There you choose the DEM and the boundary polygon and you can change the step to increase in elevation for uh, creating the table. And we use here the percentage and you have to choose a directory for the output, which will be a CSV file with the step size and the percentage of area. If you click run, the CSV file is created in the folder. So we can find the output file, the CSV file in the folder. And uh, I'm going to open it in LibreOffice to have a look at the results. The preview looks okay. And there's the table within column A, the area in percentage as we chose and in column B, the elevation in meters. The result is a bit different from the table that we created in the previous video. In this case, we add the percentages uh, from low to high, which means in the interpretation that 11.8% of the study area is 68 meters or below, and 100% of the study area is 718 meters or below. So now we can open the file in uh, QGIS. We choose the file and make sure that no geometry is uh, checked and that the preview looks okay. Click apply and there's our table. And then we can use the data plotly plugin. Click on the icon. And make sure that the plot type is scatter plot, that you choose the table. The X field needs the area percentages and the Y field needs elevation. You can change this as you wish to points and lines. Let's make the markers a little bit smaller. And give the plot a title, hypsometric curve. It's an area percentage and it's meters above sea level. And then create the plot and there we see it. So the interpretation of the curve is uh, which area in percentage is below a certain elevation. I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to receive updates of new videos. And if you're looking for free course materials on GIS, then uh, have a look at gisopencourseware.org, uh, which leads you to the IHC Delft OpenCourseWare website.